Okay, Subramanian so Swami is looking at that very closely, Mr. Swami. Do you agree that this is a setback, or do you feel because the matter is before the Supreme Court, it doesn't really matter? He's he said what he had to. The matter is being investigated. The money trail is out there. The CBI is on the task, and therefore this death won't impact the case. No, there were, <clears throat> there's always uh, alternative ways of proving the, uh, a crime. Uh, it's not necessary that it is dependent on one witness. Certainly every witness, the more witnesses you have, the better. The more uh, uh, people who become uh, uh, provers, the better. But the fact of the matter is that this case has now gone on for uh, such a long time under the, uh, under the su supervision or the monitoring of the Supreme Court that enough documents have come on board. And uh, I don't think that uh, Sadiq Basha's uh, thing would have any fundamental effect on our, uh, or fundamental setback to the investigation. Certainly, uh, whatever he wanted to say uh, has been said, but more importantly, uh, the letter rogatories uh, which I've read uh, show that the CBI and the Enforcement Director are in an advanced stage of uh, nailing the uh, money trail. Mr. Mitra, so do I you believe it's it required be for the CBI and the local police to immediately provide security to each and every person who's accused, who's facing trial, who could potentially turn approval so that what happened with Sadiq Bacha cannot possibly get repeated with anyone else? Well, well I think it's absolutely uh, essential. Rooms in, uh, in, in the jail, that would be the safest way of protecting them. Okay, let Mr. Mitra uh, uh, If they are already an accused, that's the safest way to do it. I don't think you can really protect people uh, beyond a point uh, in the open society. So that's the way you have to uh, you have to uh, um, look at the question, Mr. Mitra. And uh, uh, no, I think you I, see it's not yeah, uh, really uh, feasible to uh, to put everybody uh, behind bars. Uh, but although I agree with um, Dr. Swami that there's the safest place. Uh, however, I think immediately all the key witnesses and those who are required for uh, further interrogation and when the case comes up in court for cross-examination and who can provide crucial uh, evidence in this entire matter, they must be under police protection. And this protection has to be organized. Uh, preferably, I think, uh, you know, Tamil Nadu, there will always be some doubts because of the kind of deep-rooted, deep-seated involvement of the leaders of a particular political party which is ruling Tamil Nadu, uh, the involvement of that party with this scam, I don't know what is the best method, but under CBI supervision, protection is absolutely essential to all the key witnesses hereafter so that, uh, you know, the people's mouths don't get sealed and they are not kind of aided or abetted to commit suicide or murdered. We have to ensure that nobody else kind of uh, dies in this manner. Mr. Anand, what is the potential political fallout of this murder? Because as Chandan Mitra says, in public consciousness, it is now imagined that the DMK leadership was in cahoots uh, with some people associated with the 2G scam and with Sadiq Bacha's death. It really feeds on public perception. Could there be a negative political fallout of this death, sir? Well, there will definitely be the obvious, I mean, the fallout of this. I mean, if, if, if something more had to happen, this has happened. Because there is definitely a feeling among the people in Tamil Nadu that there is something gone wrong with the 2G spectrum scandal. Having said that, I would also want to sort of, you know, chip in to say that jail need not necessarily be the safest place to keep the accused because let's not forget that Nagarwala, the infamous Nagarwala actually was found dead inside his prison cell. So, I mean, jail need not necessarily, what we are witnessing is straight out of popular cinema that a key witness is dead halfway through the investigation, the interrogation, all those things. So I think, you know, all these are going to impact public perception in Tamil Nadu, particularly because we are going to have elections in a month and a half from now.